Hey guys, it's Carrie here and I'm back with another video. This time it's a comparison of the Note 10 Plus versus the Galaxy Note 9. Is there any worthy reasons for artists to upgrade? Alright, the reason it's necessary for me to make a whole separate video on this even though I've talked about that in my original Note 10 Plus review is because of just what the Note 10 Plus offers. Like I said, Samsung has perfected the S Pen technology so drawing wise there's no upgrade, no significant upgrade. There's no better drawing app, there's no not even the drawing apps have full screen support that could take advantage of this beautiful display. But I wanted to still make this video to show you guys what the Note 10 is actually offering in terms of what that is, that whole package, and if it would make any difference to you. If not, that's totally fine because the Note 9 is still awesome to this day. Like, it's still also an all-around phone. These phones, like I've mentioned, they're marketed to be super be super protective phones. So I know you guys are artists, buy this phone to draw, but maybe you might want to start branding your art. Maybe you probably want to start that side hustle, but then, you know, stuff like that. And I'm not saying that's a reason to get the Note 10 Plus, but since Samsung is offering such great trade-in offers and a lot of goodies if you trade in your Note 9 for the Note 10 Plus, I wanted to make this video for you guys who are a little bit curious, just a little bit, about what does the Note 10 has to offer for creatives. So. With that being said, a lot of these probably won't make, relate to art whatsoever. They're just, like I said, the whole package that this phone offers. Again, also for enthusiasts too, not just for creative. Maybe you just like, like technology, like tech. Maybe you're a geek just like me. So let's just get right into this. So the first thing first is the better, bigger looking AMOLED display. There's slightly less bezels on this display. It's larger, like I've mentioned already, and it looks beautiful. It has slightly higher resolution also, being 3040 by 11, 440 pixel density. So compared to the Note 9, which the screen is a little bit more saturated, um, the colors on it. It still looks good by any means, but again, this one's newer, so it is a lot better. So on the Note 9, it's 2,960 pixels um, by 11,440. And so I know these are numbers, but they do make a difference in our life. This screen is drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> like, I, like just walk into any Best Buy store, just try it out like it looks beautiful the color accuracy is a lot better um compared to the note 9 which is again mm, it's up to you <laughs> um and but the thing is it has a slightly lower pixel density and i don't know how much that affects much but i just wanted to guys let you guys know that the pixel density on the Note 10 Plus is 498 pixel per inch compared to 516 pixel per inch. So day to day use, I, I don't know how to answer that. I don't know if that makes a huge difference or not, but the screen is a lot better on the Note 10 Plus. And it has a bigger, faster battery and slightly bigger. It's 4,300 milliamp hour compared to 4,000 milliamp hour on the Note 9, but take that with a grain of salt since there's gyroscopes in the pen, there's more stuff going on with the, As with the Note 10 Plus. Since it's a higher, better display, that means it drains battery just as much as the Note 9. So they're back on the same level, even though it's a bigger battery, slightly faster wireless charging. Uh, I don't know. With slightly faster wireless charging, that means the battery will drain faster over time. So the Note 9 is a little bit more foolproof just because of that. Because <laughs> again, that's exhausting the battery. So that means you probably have to upgrade this again, like a lot sooner compared to the Note 9 because of the battery. So 
I'm just telling you guys how it is. Even though I love this phone, I'm not trying to be biased and telling you to go out and get it. And just like I love the Note 9 as a powerhouse, I just feel like personally, um, outside of drawing, there is just something missing for me on the Note 9. And some of it is fixed by the Note 10 and then some of it is not. So it's like pick and choose and see what you're comfortable with. But let's continue on with the facts. There's reverse wireless charging now, and that makes a huge difference if you own any smartwatch, Galaxy Buds, any wireless thing. It's really useful to be able to charge those small devices when their battery is about to go out. I know I own a pair of Galaxy Buds, so that has come in handy for me and has come in handy for my smartwatch. Um, it, it comes in most handy for my smartwatch because my watch battery is only like a day so if I forget to charge it it's dead so it's good that I could just get a little bit of juice and then this could last me a couple hours till I can charge it again so that's actually a big plus but then at the same time that reverse wireless charging feature is also available on the S line but again if you're watching this video you probably are interested into the S Pen so let's just keep it about the Note 9. So the Note 9 doesn't have that, doesn't have the reverse wireless charging, but then at the same time, you could just carry a portable battery and charge it. It's not that hard, but it's just a cool feature to have, but it's not necessary. Does that make sense? If that makes sense. And it has the in-display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. So on-screen fingerprint and uh, I love it. I personally like it. Um, a lot of people coming from OnePlus or other phones probably don't like it as much. They might think it's not as fast. But for me, I personally prefer the on-screen compared to a physical button. button. And it's weird for me because the thought of the physical button is perfectly placed on the Note 9. I didn't think that I could like ever get away from that. I thought I would miss that. But in day-to-day -day use, I ended up really loving this. It's snappy. It's very snappy for me and I prefer that a lot more and I just like the cool technology of it but for that it all depends on you um it's really hard it would be hard to test that in a store so um that is really up in the air that is a, just a preference thing but the fingerprint sensor on here it's good. And the good thing that I did test out on this is that the fingerprint, on-screen fingerprint is slightly faster than the one on the S10 Plus because I tested that on my boyfriend's phone. So one thing the Note 10 Plus has is, fa is better Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6. It connects a lot better and the connection's a little bit stronger. This is not the 5G model. It's different from that. 5G and Wi-Fi are different, but it's it's... Does it affect day-to-day -day use? Yes, if you have a shitty router like I do. <laughs> yes, it, it actually does. It actually does for me. Um, my router isn't as good, so uh, my Note 9 disconnects a lot more compared to my Note 10. So that's one of those slight improvements. And then another improvement that actually is more relatable to you guys is improved DeX mode. They actually, you could use DeX now just with a USB Type-C cable that comes with your phone and it could work on an existing computer. And like I mentioned, is that necessary? I'm not sure, but you guys could check out this cool video that I did right here where I tried it on my Cintiq and I thought that was just a cool thing to try. So, and another thing, well, this, my Note 9, I got the base model, so it's six gigs of RAM compared to this one. Well, this is the plus model. Well, no, this is not the up the top model of the Note 10 Plus. This is the base model of the because they have like a bunch of levels. They have the 5G model and then they have the 512 gigabyte model too. It has 12 gigs of RAM, and that comes in handy when you're drawing and you have a bunch of layers. So that's something that does come in handy for that. But that's not something that my Note 9 ever slowed down on because. 6 gigs of RAM is still a lot for Android. Android. If 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 you're running Windows, then I'll be yeah, like six, yeah, 6 gigs of RAM is bad, but Android is really really great at taking care of it. So double that um I it's hard to tell, but for drawing it does. I do notice that little bit of boost. So it's like very slight because again, the apps are not optimized for it. So because Samsung has a focus on the software, but the hardware is amazing on this. Well, besides the headphone jack. So now we talk about the differences. Now let's talk about what they both have in common. Like why, wouldn't you want to upgrade? 
Well, they're both IP68 water resistant, so you don't have to worry about that in both of them. They both have wireless charging. One just has one slightly faster. And like I mentioned before, that might be a bad thing over time because your battery, you'll have to replace it a lot faster compared to the Note 9. Both of the S Pens come with Bluetooth functionality. So that means you could take pictures with both of them. And speaking about that, my next video is a camera comparison of both of these guys with the S Pen. They both have a pen pressure level of 4,000 zero nine six and that is some of the best pens that i've used on a phone best pen period and that same technology in both s pen is on this to realistic norris pencil i made a bunch of videos about this and it works on guess what both of these <laughs> so drawing wise you guys are not missing out much but just the technical cool kid things <laughs> It's not cool kid things. I don't think those extra features just make you part of a special club, but it's just it's just nice to have them. It's nice. It's not required though. They both both of the S pens have tilt support, so that means it could shade from the side. We're talking about the default one here too, and also this one, again, it's the same technology, same amount of levels in the tip, so I'm talking about equal playing grounds here. You can control your music and video player with both of these since um, the S Pens are both have Bluetooth connectivity on both of them. So if you're drawing and you like playing, you like, I know a lot of you guys like to do that, but your S Pen while drawing, just pause and play. That's possible with both of them. And both of them recharge when you slot them back into the phone. And another thing that both of them works with is Dex Dual Canvas Mode. And if you guys don't know what Delsky Canvas Mode is, basically it lets you turn your phone into like a little drawing tablet and I made so many videos about it, so check out this one up here. Besides these features, obviously another great reason to get the Note 10 Plus is the better camera. And better camera comes with the gyroscope feature with the S Pen. And I made a whole separate video about that, which you guys can watch next. And the pop-up cards so i hope you guys enjoy this video these are very very minor upgrades to be honest like i'm actually still disappointed in samsung but at the same time i'm really happy of that that means that they really perfect these hardware these are like head to head like they improve an already perfect phone from last year for me it was perfect it was a phone that could do it all and everything and can handle it and they improve that a little bit more each year and I'm just really happy for that. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more Note 9, Note 10, I have two playlists up right here in the cards that you guys could check out. I have so much coverage on these phones and I will be comparing the Note 9, Note 10 to the Note 8. So keep in post notifications for that and I'll catch you guys in my next time. Bye.